Hi everybody, for those of you who are new here, I'm Sandhi Puri and I scored 690 marks out of 720 in NEET 2022 which was my first attempt. So a lot of you asked me for a video specifically dedicated to NEET physics, so here's one and I'll be uploading it in two parts. The first one is regarding the sequence to follow and the question solving strategies and the second one will be regarding the NCRTs for physics. So let's start off with the first question which is what sequence to follow. So I've divided the students into two categories, that is those who go to a coaching institute and those who do not. So if you go to coaching, the most important thing for you is your notes. First of all, you have to go to your notes and revise them at least twice or thrice because you may not realize this, but the questions in your notes are actually derived from the previous year questions and you will see exact questions with just the values change. So these questions or these notes will be very helpful in giving you an idea of what the actual paper will look like. Now, for those of you who don't go to a coaching institute, YouTube video lectures are just as great. I've done a couple of chapters myself from YouTube, so I know that they're just as helpful. And you'll be able to solve all the previous questions if you follow YouTube also sincerely with discipline. So after these class notes, you move to the previous year questions for NEET, uh, at least the past five years questions, bare minimum. After that, you could go to the module or the extra questions. Now, I also like to solve J.E. Main's previous year questions because they were somehow linked, at least the concepts were similar. And of course, they were of a higher level, slightly higher level, but if you do have time, you should definitely go through them as well. Now, after that, if you're targeting a full score, that is a score of 180 out of 180, only then should you do the NCRT theory and exercises. Now, NCRT should be done once you've begun to score 130, 140 plus or 150 plus and you shouldn't ever start the chapter with the NCRT of physics because it's a slightly complicated book. In fact, once you've done the notes, once you've done the previous year questions, this should actually be the last step to boost your score further. Now, I'll come to the question solving strategies. So I'll be taking up the example of the chapter waves, which was uh, the most difficult chapter for me at least. So I divided the previous year questions into four or five categories. So how did I do that exactly? I went through the questions and then I, you know, noted down the categories or the questions that were most frequently asked. So previous year questions will be your jackpot in order to divide the questions into the important categories. So I could divide the chapter waves into four major categories, that is Doppler's effect, resonance tube experiment, organ pipe, and number of beats. And after that, you derive short tricks or formulas that will help you to solve these questions easily. So I'll take up the first question which was related to the resonance tube experiment. Now it's a very popular question. I saw it in a lot of my mock tests and in a lot of previous year questions as well. So for this I decided to learn the short formula which is V is 2F L2 minus L1. Now if you did the question from the scratch it could have taken you only 1 to 1.5 minutes but if you did it using this formula it would take you only 15 seconds at max. However, I will recommend you that you should know how to solve a question from scratch. You should be able to derive this formula because it's not necessary that you remember all the formulae at the time of the exam. But of course, if you can remember them, there's nothing better than that. Now, I'll take up another question as well. So firstly, how do you start off? You identify the category. So this falls into the category of Doppler's effect. And for Doppler's effect, there's only one formula, which is F is F0, V plus minus V naught upon V plus minus Vs. Now, the most important part is that you have to learn how to apply the formula. And this is what you learn when you do the previous year questions. By how to apply the formula, I mean that you should know which sign to use in the numerator and the denominator. There can be four cases, plus minus in the numerator and plus minus in the denominator. So you have to know exactly how to apply the formula by solving various previous year questions. I'll be taking up another video to discuss the sign convention of Doppler's effect, but this is how you have to figure out, uh, you know, the tips and tricks for every single formula and then apply it to all the previous year questions. And if that's working, then you're definitely on the right track. Now, thirdly, uh, a lot of you also asked me to recommend the YouTube channels that I used for my preparation. So I did go to a coaching institute and most of my notes were based on what was taught in the class. However, I did end up missing a couple chapters over there like rotation. So I did it fully from YouTube. I did it from Physics Bala's YouTube channel. I also watched some lectures from Unacademy uh, for the same for theory and note making. Now for building interest, I watched Professor Walter Lewin's lectures. They are absolutely brilliant. But again, I didn't watch them from a problem solving point of view. I watch them solely to build interest and to visualize the concepts better. So if you want to do that, you should surely go ahead and watch his lectures. And for NCRT solutions, uh, I'll recommend a channel to you, which is Crash Up. So whichever questions I got stuck in and the ones that were from NCRT, I watch their lectures for that. Uh, they give detailed solutions. So they were pretty helpful in understanding the concept as well. 
so that's all for this video i'll be uploading the second part related to the ncrts for physics and the third part related to the sign convention for doppler's effect pretty soon uh, until then if you have any questions or queries related to this video in particular please do leave them in the comment section below and i'll surely be happy to help thank you so much for watching this video